Hi everyone, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing great. This is Pravin Dray from Dice University and in today's video, it's all about the best of the best because we are going to talk about the best of native advertising. It's going to be super, super exciting guys. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video guys. But before we go, please, please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this channel, the like button for this video only if you like this video at the end of the video guys, not now, as well as the bell notification so that you don't miss any of upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time so i'll be seeing you in today's video guys let's go this video is brought to you by landerize.com create highly optimized landing pages in minutes get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video Welcome to today's video everybody. In today's video, we are literally going to give you the best of the best. Like I told you just now yourself, we're going to show you the best native advertising or native advertising examples guys. So I'm going to give you all the examples. So there's going to be nine examples in this whole video. It's going to be huge brand which actually made native ads work like crazy for them. You know, you have to keep this in mind. But you always, uh, usually you commonly hear, right? When people actually say the native advertising, it's always a gray area. It's always a very, very shady area because native advertising can actually get a very very bad reputation especially when the advertisers make a little bit mistakes with what they do and if they present the content in a very different way it could be really really deceiving and it could be really really screwed up like for example i, I know a case where the atlantic actually uh forced the cow to i'm uh, sorry forced the native ads of eating cow and all this kind of stuff you know uh but you know what what happened this actually turned back to them and people start telling them that don't do stuff like this you know their pr got uh, hurt very bad and all this kind of stuff right and the ftc uh, federal trade commission came into the picture and a lot of stuff guys but there is still huge huge brand which has been doing great awesome crazy crazy work when it comes to native ads guys and i'm going to show to you all the samples of native advertising guys so a lot of people actually say that um native advertising is deceiving and all this kind of stuff right so these are big brands i'm talking about which i'm going to show you the example uh if it's deceiving they will not actually do this so they know that uh, the ftc the federal trade commission has already interfered and already tell them the guidelines of what they should do what they shouldn't do and all this kind of stuff so they know exactly how to go ahead and react for that as well so make sure you do all that properly guys so let's let's go ahead and start looking at the app so the first ad that we are going to take a look at is this one so this one is an ad by Adobe, Adobe, I, I, I think I pronounced it correct. So uh, New York Times actually did this, uh, this, this, this whole branding, you know. So this whole branding is like a, a very high quality of native advertising with in-house content marketing, uh, something like they want to show something regarding the gray lady. So they want to talk about virtual reality so that's what it says here right you can actually see shopping goes virtual and everything right so this was actually their landing page that they used and when i'm going to show these you guys this ad right unfortunately i could not show you guys the landing page and everything because it's already been removed it has already been some time but uh, i have actually found one th one particular native advertising that i can actually show you guys which i'm going to keep it for the best the last for the best guys so this is actually the landing page that they actually use adobe you can actually see new york times adobe so they use this particular uh, uh landing page which says that retail stack revolution robots that picks out outfit and other technology which transform shopping experience you know uh, this is actually one of the best uh uh, native advertising and I think that you can actually learn something from here is what you can actually learn from uh, learn from here is that advertising doesn't mean that you just have to let your 
your your your standard go down you know they you can actually still keep your real real nice standard even though there's like a long long crazy form content and all these guys that it, it can still be very powerful if you actually bring that quality you know bring that quality there so that's that's what i can actually learn from this campaign so the second campaign is this one margarita of the year so this campaign is actually run by patron uh, takila they actually run this in twitter so what happened is that for the international margarita day february 22nd they actually went to twitter and they did a hashtag of margarita of the year and things like that and people need to vote for their recipes of their uh, favorite margarita you know this one the i think there's seven here if i'm not mistaken so that's what they have to do here so uh, it, it went really, really well. It, 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 it grows really, really well. So people actually started voting and all this kind of stuff. So this was a very, very good campaign, guys. And uh, what I actually learned from this campaign is that whenever you're doing an native ads in social medias like Facebook, LinkedIn, and everything, you always need to look for a ways to integrate social experience into your ad. So like polls, like surveys, and all this kind of stuff. So you want this thing, this thing can actually work and you want people to tag their friends comment stuff and you know that will actually bring your company's name here uh, up the challenge and all that that's that's really really important guys. so that's one of the, the second thing so the third uh, advertisement is for bbc future guys this one is like uh, uh done by morgan stanley so this is for travel bbc the future travel so they try to do an ad like this showing that how the the country's tourism will look like and all this kind of stuff which was really really interesting and this is how their landing page looks like you can actually see a very very simple landing page guys but then the value is that the value they're actually giving up value and this is what i actually learned from this ad is that Whenever it comes to advertising, don't forget your value. It's very important as well. So make sure the value that you're delivering, you keep in mind that that is actually the value of your brand as well. So make sure it's very important. So the next one is uh, this one, the result or the message. This is actually the native ads name, not the result. Sorry, guys. So this is actually done by uh, General Electric. So what they actually did is that they want to send this uh, message uh, it's like a podcast, you know, eight weeks podcast where they uh, they want to explore the sound technology via a science fiction narrative uh, podcast, which is was really, really interesting, guys. And uh, I, I personally think that this was superb. And while uh, why I actually think this is actually a good thing and what you can actually learn from this ad is that they actually push themselves to a limit, you know. They actually try to challenge themselves and try to do something that nobody have ever done before. If you if you are a brand and you would want you have a great idea that nobody have done before and you are like scared to do that, I would highly tell you please go ahead and try that first. Make sure you try. Without trying, you will not know. Don't decide without trying. So the fifth one that we're gonna take a look at is this one. This is just a beautiful image, right? So this is actually a particular native ads run by the uh, particular native ads called the jackpot drum roll. It's done uh, done by the New York Lottery. This is actually to increase the lottery's uh, interest of people in the I think 2016's Powerball jackpot or something like that, guys. So you can actually see this is actually one single image like i told you this is how native ads is actually built for affiliate marketers there will not be any image uh, names words or anything there will only be one single image but you can actually see this picture right it might seem like a crazy stunt but they actually attract a lot of stuff within this particular crazy stunt and 
trust me guys this particular person here right he became very famous after they actually do this guys so so it literally works you know so uh, you the lesson you can actually learn from here is that even though you you think that something that you want to do is really stupid or really crazy but you might not know even know so it might even work so the next one is a little bit scary one you know this is actually a native ad uh, run by Cedar Point it's called the catch a ghost so it's it's like like, um, it, it's for the o Ohio team park Cedar Point what they actually do is they want to promote their Halloween offering so they try to uh, invite people using this screenshot uh, via snapchat story you know in exchange for coupons and everything so it actually make their snapchat engagement goes I think 200 times or 300 times more and uh, so many unique users guys so it was really really crazy guys so you can actually see over here this is this is how it will look like as well so what I learned from here is almost similar like what I learned from just now make sure you engage your user so when you engage your user contests are one of the best ways to engage your user just now there was a survey right twitter did patron uh tequila so contest is also one of the best ways you can actually uh take the interest of the audience so they make sure that they, they are actually engaged in you and not only normal they are actually engaged in a very correct way guys so the seventh one is taco bell this is actually a very very famous kind of native ad which became very very super popular guys in snapchat it even became like a branded thing for snapchat this is what the first time they did they did like a, a snap images of taco bella that you can actually put in your head and this was huge success right they really really gross really really crazy and this is where snapchat decided to go with this kind of ads with the geo filters and all this kind of stuff guys so it's really really awesome so uh what I learned here is that even though they are not a very, very, uh, they didn't do something which is very, very uh, similar to other brands which they have actually using, these guys actually did something very different and they actually partnership with a company and uh, collaboration is always something which works very well. I really think that. So the last, second last one is by Airbnb, your favorite Airbnb guys. So this is actually a campaign run by Airbnb. Uh, they have actually hosted by Thumb and I forgot, uh, hosted by Artwork. It's already there. So yep, this is actually the native ads guys. So it's a very simple native ads where they actually include videos, several articles, uh, maps of points of view and everything. And the, the main reason of this article, is, uh, main reason of this ad is to make sure that Airbnb is the best way to actually explore South London. Guys. So that's the main idea of this particular ad. And it really, really worked very well. And you can actually see the content itself. They have actually standalone you just look at this particular native ad and you know what it works for so sometimes the lesson that i took from here is that sometimes you don't need to go ahead and uh, make a turnaround and do everything you can just do something which is very straightforward people read and people know that as well so this is the this is the final one guys this is called the kakanomics cocaineomics guys this is done by wall street but netflix is actually the one who actually did this they did this to promote their show their netflix original series narcos which is the story of paulo escobar guys so literally why i like this is one is the partnership that they actually collaborated with so they collaborated with like i told you they collaborated with wall street and all this kind of stuff to create a very beautiful partnership and another thing that Netflix always does with their native ads. Netflix is crazy famous with their native ads. And what they actually did with their native ads is they educate people. This is the landing page that I actually have. So this is how Coconomics will look like. So if you click, right? So let me just refresh it. I'm going to show you how the Coconomics look like. So you can actually see here. So you can see Cocaineomics, right? So you can actually click, you can actually interact over here. And when you scroll down, right, you can actually see the whole story of the Mandeling uh, gang, you know, the Mandeling cartel. And then you can see the whole story of Paulo Escobar, what he did with videos, education, how he did his uh, trade, uh, what, what happened to his trade what was his post and all this kind of informative stuff that you can 
actually learn. And at the final, they even made a quiz survey of are you an expert of economics case so this is what i will say my favorite and my personal best thing guys and i always believe that netflix always goes very well with native ads guys so this is the best native advertising example that i can actually show you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed today's video guys uh it's more like learning in today's video guys so before i go i just wanted to tell you guys please please support this channel by hitting the big red subscribe button for this video the like button for the, uh, the like button for this video also if you like this this video and do not forget the bell notification so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and so that we can keep creating good content for you all the time i'll be seeing you in the next one guys so till then tata bye bye